Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipop Tarot bringing Sagittarius's, their weekly love read. Sagittarius's, this is for the week of October 17th through the 23rd. Um, just so you guys know, all the readings... Oh, that, that card's already flipped over. I'm going to... It's the devil card. I'm going to flip it back because I don't know if it was like that before I started. So I kind of feel like it was... Um, Anyways, this is October 17th through the 23rd, but these reads are, pro, I was going to say priceless. They're priceless. They're timeless. Um, so whenever you watch the read, that's when the video is meant for you to be seeing it. The timestamps or the time on it is really irrelevant because that is more for me to make sure I'm getting content out um, on a regular basis. So just disregard the time frame if you're watching it after October 17th through the 23rd. Um, these are general reads, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read at all, click, click on the link below. Um, if you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, to get your moon and your rising signs and then go check them out because sometimes those resonate a little bit more. Um, and then there's also a, a click, a, oh my gosh, a link in the description box below that you can click um, for my personal webpage if you are interested, guys. So let's get into your read, Sagittarius. What's coming towards you in love? We have the Knight of Swords. I feel like, oh, look at this. Someone's walking away from something and someone's running towards something. So I feel like, um, I feel like you're potentially walking towards your happiness. I think someone is rushing towards you. I think someone is coming towards you with a lot of good news, good messages. I think this person has a great sense of humor. They're very witty. But I think someone's coming towards you with a lot of messages. They're going to be rushing towards you. They're going to be telling you what they think and how they feel. And they're going to be um, direct, like super direct, more than you're probably used to. Um, I feel like someone's going to be coming at you with direct messages of how they feel in this love situation. You guys, I feel like um, we have the world card here. This is the first time this has come out all evening. Um, but this is, I think, yeah, I think. Um, but this is a completion of a cycle. So I feel like you guys are going through something. Like, I feel like when I said you're walking away from something and they're coming towards something, I feel like you're walking away from a situation um, that needed to come to completion. This cycle needed to end. You needed to finish something off before you can move forward to something else. So I feel like you're completing a cycle um, in terms of a situation. Could be love, could be a job, could be anything. But I do think um, once this cycle is completed, someone's going to be rushing towards you to tell you what they think and how they feel. Um, this person is coming <laughs> extremely passionate. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Very, very much a passionate situation. Um, this could be another fire sign like you, but does not have to be. Um, so this is going to be an extremely victorious situation in love. This is going to be like love conquering everything. So, pardon me. Oh, I like to try to hide my face when I yawn on camera. Sorry. Um, I feel like this is going to be a victorious situation. Things are going to work out in, in your favor, Sagittarius. Um, this is going to be an extremely passionate connection. Um, someone with lots of fire, lots of passion, lots of chemistry, very sexually charged relationship. And then they're also going to be fun and flirty and sexy and passionate. So lots and lots of passion, I feel like, is, is here. You have actually four four cards of wands and then the world card. Um, so I think someone's going to be coming to be playful, to be flirty, to be sexy, to be energized, to energize you, to have so much fun together between the two of you. Um, we also have the seven of wands here, though. So I And I feel like this is your energy because you're walking away from something and completing a cycle of something. I feel like you're going to be sitting in this protective energy um, where you're keeping yourself quite guarded. But you do let this one wand in. So it's not like completely closed off. I don't know why. Um, but it is definitely a, a guarded kind of sense. Like you're, you're not like totally done with love, but you're definitely not jumping towards the situation immediately. You're really reserved, okay? So um, let's get the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot to see what else we have for Sagittarius's and what's coming towards them in love. Shadow work. 
caution, mm. reunion, cleanse, interesting, freedom. Um, so, I mean, you could potentially be getting your freedom by walking away from a relationship. Um, that could be the case. Um, I also feel like it could be that you have been really doing some shadow work. Like things have been very difficult for you. You've been dealing with a lot of dark things or things that um, have come to surface that really kind of impact your everyday life. And you're really working on cleansing this shadow energy um, and kind of getting rid of this and being free from it. I feel like um, this caution is like you've been... Um, trying to do this for a while it's just not been working but I do see you getting your freedom I do see you still using caution though in terms of a new start of a relationship but I don't think you necessarily have to I think that's just how you're feeling but you will have freedom from the situation once that you do the shadow work and you can kind of cleanse yourself from it it says reunion so this could be so to me I feel like this can be two different things this could be a or new person that you're reuniting with not a new person, but like an old person coming back. Or this could be like you're with someone and you're doing all this shadow work and you kind of kind of reunite after you've grown a little bit more. Like you don't even have to be separated from them. You just kind of come back together with your person um, after you do all this shadow work and cleansing and, and like healing yourself, getting freedom from what's been holding you down. All right, let's get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages from the Hermit Tarot. Or Sagittarius between Sagittarius and their person. I think we should slow down. I guess I'll take these. I feel like that's at seven of wands energy, right? Like, I think you need to slow down. I'm only letting your wand in a little bit. <laughs> um, if I could follow you, if I follow you, I could lose everything. And again, I feel like this is your energy with that, um, that's necessary to do that shadow work and to cleanse because you have all these negative thoughts in your head. Like, oh my gosh, if I follow you, I could lose everything. I don't want to lose everything. Why? Like just kind of going into a space where you don't need to. I just want space. You have so many choices and options and I am absolutely in love with you. So funny. You have five three sixes and then a seven so you have five six six seven and I think some of the sixes are like you know that negative self-talk along with the five all of that's actually kind of negative the only thing that's not negative is I'm absolutely in love with you and I think your person is going to be um telling you that like I'm absolutely in love with you like what the is wrong with you you don't need space. I don't have so many choices and options. I want to be with you. You're not going to lose everything. Um, we don't need to slow down. Um, but I feel like your person's going to be very direct and I think and honest. And um, I feel like that's going to work well for them with you because you need that. Excuse me. You need someone to be direct with you. I feel like it's going to be hard for you to believe them, but you need someone to be direct with you. All right, let's get a couple of white rose divine guidance love messages. It's I keep saying that wrong. It's white rose guidance divine love messages volume two. Um, I love your sense of humor. Yep, and I told you your person's going to be witty, right? Um, I hope to. I always hope to have you in my life, and I still have so much to accomplish before I can do what I can be what you deserve. It. That last card. I still have so much to accomplish before I can be what you deserve. Is totally your energy, Sagittarius. You're the one that's kind of putting all these um, roadblocks up. Your person, I think they're going to love your sense of humor. I think you're going to love their sense of humor. I think they're the one charging at you and telling you all these things. And they're going to say, I always hope to have you in my life. I think a lot of things they say to you, you're going to get like, it's going to scare the shit, the crap out of you. Sorry. But they're going to be honest and mean it. Sorry if you heard my dog making crazy noise. All right, Sagittarius is we're going to finish your read off with the heart songs, songs in the keys of love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are actual song lyrics. So the lyric itself might be a message you need to hear. The song itself might be a song that you really like and you're like, oh my gosh, this is my jam. Or it might make you think of a, a certain person. It's I'll be there from the Jackson 5. I'll be there to comfort you, build my world and dreams around you. I'm so glad that I found you. I'll be there with a love that's strong. I'll be your strength. I'll keep holding on. I feel like this is your person's message to you, Sagittarius. They're trying to convince you that they're going to be there and you're keeping your walls up. But um, I think eventually they will come down. 
All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, I appreciate you watching very much. Thank you so much. And then again, please throw some extra positivity, prayers, love, and light out there. Um, I feel like this world and people in it are just dealing with a lot of hardships. And um, I think the world needs now is love, sweet love. <laughs> um, there's just too little of it. All right. Thank you, guys. Till next time. Take care.